Hi everybody and welcome back. Well it is once again time to take a look at another Ubuntu versus Windows 7 comparison for 2012 and probably start World War III between the Windows and Linux communities. I am safely tucked away in my bomb shelter. But seriously, what I have here is Ubuntu 12.04 Precise Pangolin, of course, featuring Unity. Uh, this is not the final version. This is not the beta. This is an alpha, too. And I must say I've been so impressed, very impressed, with the alpha release of this that I'm going to try and compare this to Windows 7. Now, I normally wouldn't do this. Let me just say that if you are new to this coming from Windows, do not release or do not install this or the beta, wait till the final version just to be safe. So let's continue. Um, I won't show you Windows 7 either by the way. You know what that looks like. It's been around for a few years. So let's dive into this and see what we have. Now there have been a number of enhancements to 12.04. Let's take a look at the sound menu. And this is a, somewhat of an old laptop so it will run a little bit slow. This is the improved sound menu. You have output, input, sound effects, applications, and we go to input. It's going to show my the graph here, the input level for the microphone. This, I think, looks better than the sound menu in Windows 7. Very pleasing, very easy on the eyes, easy to navigate to. Another nice feature here, if you go to the um, All Settings tab, let's try Appearance. Click of that. This also has been enhanced. You have look and behavior besides, of course, wallpapers. Here at the bottom, launcher icon size. There's a little slider. Slide to the right and you have big fat mushroom icons to the left. Slide to the left to make it small. I think that's cool. Click behavior and you have the choice of auto hide the launcher by clicking on and off or you can restall default behaviors and you have a slider here this again is an enhancement uh, I enjoy this uh, so far this enhancement is very easy to use alright another enhancement that uh, compares comparably very well to Windows 7 uh, the unity bar to the left of course if I click that it'll bring up the uh, menu or the file system here. Oh, the global menu at the top, which I don't care for. This is uh, Nautilus 3.390. Alright, this is fine, but the one cool thing about this, if you highlight the home folder and right click, you also have a drop down menu. This reminds me a little bit of the old um, Windows XP or Windows 2000. Nice go to the dash home and right click you have dash home applications files and folders music and videos again this also compares comparably in terms of navigation ease of use to Windows 7 alright another enhancement to this if I click the dash home um, let's see the lenses at the bottom you have home search applications file folders music and the video lens search videos let's type in toss today <laughs> and this will go to the internet and bring up a couple of the toss today screencast I think that's cool alright if I click the dash uh, actually highlight the dash and click the alt button this will bring up what's called the HUD the heads up display. Now I'm still trying to figure this one out. I'm still learning this, but this will bring up I'm assuming some kind of enhanced search function. Type in sound. It'll give me uh, I guess almost everything that is related to sound. I'm not sure why image set as desktop background is there. Prob probably because that is part of the sound menu. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> let's type in um, settings. And this will give me uh, a submenu that is uh, a submenu that is related to settings. 
I think this is fine. I'm not sure if this is really needed. Again, this is brand new to uh, Ubuntu 12.04. In terms of the search capabilities of your uh, system, this compares well, nicely to Windows 7. There are a couple of things that I don't like. and These are uh, things that apparently a lot of you don't like. You cannot right click on the panel bar to customize it, to move it, and or to add any kind of applets. I miss that. The unity bar at the left with the shortcuts is fine. This reminds me of the uh, Windows 7 Super Bar, um, but unlike the Windows 7 Super Bar, you can't move it. It's stuck to the left. You can change the icon size, which is fine, uh, but this part here does not compare well to Windows 7. So I'll probably give the edge to Windows 7 as far as customization on certain things go, not on the whole core system itself. But I would say Windows 7 probably has the edge on the panel bar uh, scheme of things. And like I said, you do have the shortcuts here. Let's click System Monitor. Okay. And I am running a, what is this? This is a 1.6 gigahertz Pentium M. And one thing I did like about this, the um, Let's go to resources. This uses about half the memory, yeah, half, maybe less, of what Windows 7 would use, you know, in uh, standby mode or sit down mode. Sit down meaning I'm sitting down on my sofa looking at my computer. That is my sit down mode. Haha. -ha. But yeah, um, memory usage is very, very nice. Uh, one thing I also wanted to mention that has been improved is power management. Uh, for an alpha, this works terrifically. You can see the battery meter here, power settings, so on and so forth. Let me click power settings here. Again, this will, the software applications will boot up a little bit slow. But there is definitely an improvement in the power management, even though this is an alpha. Uh, and it gives me the using battery power one point, one hour and nine minutes remaining here. And you have your various other functions here, such as suspend. Nicely done. And I'm clicking all settings and power. All right, again, this is an old laptop. It's not particularly zippy. But as far as the uh, power management goes, definite improvement. I like it. There we go. Brightness and lock, dim screen to save power. And you can lock the screen turn screen off when inactive for I set it for 10 minutes to conserve power you have a brightness slider function here okay in final how does this compare to Windows 7 well being that this this is the uh, this is the alpha 2 I'm impressed the core operating system itself has been stable no crashes now there have been you know some bug issues in starting certain applications that is to be expect that this is an alpha and I don't recommend you install this unless you know what you are doing wait until the final release if you wish to install this as a dual boot alongside Windows 7 but in terms of core stability I'm impressed and to me Windows 7 is stable and this being an alpha is stable nicely done um, can this be a replacement for Windows 7 I don't think so, not even as a final release. I think Unity, as with GNOME Shell, is still a work in progress. Can this be an alternative uh, to Windows 7? Oh, absolutely. Once the final is released, and if it's as, as stable as this, absolutely. Go ahead and download this and try this. You may want to use this to replace Windows 7. I don't know. Not for me. It's not there yet. But as an alternative, absolutely. Give it a shot. What about usability? choices of software navigation throughout the operating system itself not a problem you should not have any issues navigating to this or through this to work your new brand new Ubuntu 12.04 so in comparing this to Windows 7 I guess the best that it could, that, that I can say this compares as it is right now as an alpha rather well. It's, I know it's not a final and there'll probably be some enhancements and some other stuff added to this. I think this looks cool. These uh, 3D effects here with the lens 
and the dash to launch. I think this is really cool. And I think with those eight, I think they're working on something like this. But anyway, this compares rather nicely to Windows 7. For me, it's not a replacement to Windows 7. I think Ubuntu is on the right track with Unity. Uh, I still think it is a work in progress. It would be nice to have my panel bar functionality back in terms of moving it, adding applets, and uh, stuff like that. But do I like it? My Windows brain tells me yes. I like it. I use it. I like it so much that I have installed this in my uh, desktop as my main Linux core system. I like this better than I like Linux Mint 12, believe it or not, because Linux Mint 12 doesn't like ATI graphics cards. But Unity does, as long as I do not install the proprietary drivers. Alright guys, that's it. That's my quick look at Ubuntu 12.04 versus Windows 7. I hope you found this somewhat useful. Again, if you want to download this and give it a shot, it's still in alpha stage. It'll be in beta stage in about a week. Unless you know what you are doing, do not download this yet. Wait until the final release at the end of April, and then sure, give it a shot. That's it. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future. Ciao.